But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my welcome here, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Uh, that scarecrow from 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 Batman. But I needed an evil straw man, right? You know. And when it comes to black men, people still make that straw man argument. And what I mean is, whatever the topic is, you know, somehow. It's, it's, you can spin it to where there's some low life, low level, dumb, you know, misogynistic, evil black man that just is, you know, the the, the basic normal um, black man that we're all, except for the person who says that's not me, <laughs> that can be blamed for for all the ills of the world and the atrocities of life and. Can even be blamed for your bad decision making. You know, it's always an evil, a black man can always be the evil straw man. You know, the black, every black man can be like when Kevin Samuels was alive, the color purple, purpling of America. Every black man can be Mr. You know, or if we're not Mr., um, we're, um, Ike Turner and what's love got to do with it? Lawrence Fishburne playing Ike Turner, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, we all Ike, you know. Or we can be, what is the guy's name? Was it Steve Harris? I forgot what character he played. I forgot the name of the character. When um, Diary of a, of, a, of a Mad Black Woman, right? When he was the husband that was cheating on the wife, blah, blah, blah. Or we can be most of the men in for colored girls, right? And it's always this evil thing, you know. Some, we're, we're some nefarious dude. With, with everything brothers do, and then, and then, and then, you know, black men and black women are like turn around even within the community and go, "Don't you bash? You should never talk bad about the women." And it's like, why not? I mean, we're evil guys, remember? <laughs> You know, we're supposed to be the evil straw man who has who has morals and ethics. It doesn't make sense. You know, we're supposed to just get get bashed all the time and then take it on the chin and just just move on, you know, and say nothing. And have no retorts, no rebuttals. Because everything that's negative about black men has to be true because, you know, we're the evil straw man. And these these black men out here thugging it up. Like when y'all say Black brothers out here killing each other. Sometimes it sounds like, you know, y'all talking about guys from 15 to 85. Black men out here just, just do, just, just, you know, great granddaddies out here spinning the block, you know, listening to drill music <laughs> with his walker. Like, okay. So he pulling drive-bys. You know, grand, great granddad's pulling drive-bys in a Dodge Caravan, you know, with, with the sliding door wide open, you know, shooting, shooting a, a, a revolver. <laughs> like, all right, you know, it's the evil black man, you know. All the boys in school are, are, are just bad apples and illiterate and can't read and fight teachers, you know. All the guys in college out here just cheating off of cheating off needing a a, 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 a a tutor or a female tutor that they could sleep with, you know, as payment for for helping them pass these classes, and you know they'll get out into society and don't know how to do anything but sleep with people, you know, it just they never actually graduated on their own merit. And they, and they and they were pop, dropping mollies and drinks left and right. It just makes no sense, you know. The, the hard working, you know, the family man ain't really a good family man. He out here, you know, at KOD or Club Onyx, you know, strokers, you know, any strip club near you, just making making all the the, the mortgage money rain 
on these lit on strippers or spending kids college fund you know <laughs> on a side chick you know just unfaithful guys like okay all right so so for, for me it's like these straw man arguments make no sense and then the sad part about it is people know it's a BS argument people know somebody's just lying on purpose to, to put sauce on a on, on a on an argument or a conversation because you know it may be more entertaining but you don't need it to be honest but as long as you're dealing with black men hey man we're gonna lie 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 you know it's just it's lie after lie and it's all good it's all good because hey man it's a straw man it's an evil the black man is an evil straw man you know we, we just with Michael Jackson in the wheels just hanging on hanging up you can't win it just don't make sense but for people making these 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 bogus arguments it does putting putting things together that don't even don't don't even go together you know black man will be respected if he runs a race war what the f you need to build Wakanda Wakanda ain't even real <laughs> what the f brothers you know you need to black men you need to save the community because if you, you know, you love the community, you low down dirty dog. Wait a minute, aren't you a black man in the community? How come you ain't in the community saving it? Why are you asking, why are you asking some fictitious guys to come and save and swoop in and save the community when you there? Like, that doesn't make sense. But hey, man, these evil black men who abandon the community, that, that's, a, that's a line that exists. Your daddy abandoned you. He left you. He never cared about you. You was, man, you was born... Uh, nine months after Freak Nick, you better you better stop believing you got abandoned. But hey, man, the, fist, the fictitious evil black man is there, man. You know, but I'm going to leave it at that. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.